Below are some basic information about software test plan. For any activity, some planning is always required. And same is true for software testing. Without proper plan, there is always high risk of getting distracted during testing. If this risk becomes a fact, the results could be horrible. Following are 5 main parts of good test plan. A. Scope B. Objectives C. Focus D. Approach E. Schedule A. Scope Overview of UAT Features of or areas to be tested Exclusion Features or areas not to be tested with reason Dependencies of testing activities on each other if any B. Objectives this section describes the goal of testing activity example validation of bug fixes, new features added or revamp of UAT etc. C. Focus This section describes what aspect of application will be included in the testing example security, functionality, usability, reliability, performance or efficiency etc. D. Approach this section describes what testing methodology will be adopted for which areas of UAT. For example, in the STP of an ERP application, the approach section may contain the information that black box testing will be the approach for payroll. On the other hand, for reports, the approach will be gray box testing. E. Schedule This section describes that who will be doing what and where in UAT, when and how. Normally it is a simple table but every organization may have its own customized format according to their own needs. Once the test plan is ready and application is under development, testers design and document the test cases. Below is some basic information about SOAP testing. SOAP test also known as endurance testing. Soak testing is running a system at high levels of load for prolonged periods of time. A soak test would normally execute several times more transactions in an entire day or night than would be expected in a busy day to identify any performance problems that appear after a large number of transactions have been executed. Also, it is possible that a system may stop working after a certain number of transactions have been processed due to memory leaks or other defects. Soak tests provide an opportunity to identify such defects, whereas load testing and stress testing may not find such problems due to their relatively short duration. Objectives of Soak Testing The objectives of Soak Testing is to identify any performance problems that may appear after a system has been running at a high activity level for an extended period of time. It is possible that a system may stop working after a certain number of transactions have been processed due to, for example, serious memory leaks that would eventually result in a memory crisis, failure to close connections between tiers of a multi-tiered system which could halt some of or all modules of a system. Failure to close database cursors under some conditions which could eventually result in the entire system stalling. Gradual degradation in response time of some functions as internal data structures become less efficient during a long high intensity test. Soak testing provides an opportunity to identify such defects. When to do soak testing? Soak testing is important in certain systems as the load and stress test components are relatively short lived. They may not expose such problems as described above. Therefore, it is recommended that the soak test is run on completion of the stress test. Soak testing prerequisites Business processes Business processes should be defined with the client that directly replicate the current or expected traffic flow throughout the application. Estimated target load levels. The perceived or calculated numbers of users that will be 
on accessing the application at any one time. Page request distribution. Once the target load level is defined, it is essential to establish what number or percentage of users are accessing the individual defined business processes. System under test. What parts of the system will be utilized when the business processes are run? Example DB, web servers, application servers, etc.